I'm a big fan of doing a destructive test. Don't let your customers be your quality control. Know what your welds are doing. As far as destructive test, what are you trying to test anyway? What are you looking for? Is it diameter of the nugget that you're pulling? Is it a tensile shear strength where you're doing a pull, where you're looking for a value? Are you doing a peel test? What type of test are you doing? On a projection nut, are you doing a torque test? Test your products like they're gonna be tested in the field. Because you can do a test that has nothing to do with how that part is going to be subjected to in the field. Only when you test how that product is going to be tested in real life is you're going to have a good test. Now as far as destructive test, any time that you need to find out what that welder is doing, you should be able to do a destructive test. It doesn't have to be on the original part. Once you establish the parameters that you're looking for and the quality of that test, you could do them on coupons. Same thickness of material, same type of material, but they could just be the little square coupons. But do the same test. And I recommend doing the test, on, the struct test on the parts at the beginning of the run and maybe halfway through the run and then at the end of the run. Because when you do welds on coupons, that's really the perfect weld. But when you're doing them on those parts that have bends in them that may not fit the tooling quite as flat as a coupon would, that's gonna change your weld. So do your test on your parts to establish your parameters, to establish your test, then use coupons as a check method.